Now, let us uh, repeat the same for the overhead cabins. But you know that overhead cabin will be mostly glazed. So you have to create a profile accordingly. So I'll, first of all, uh, just as I've done for the base cabin, I should start by aligning the UCS on the surface of the overhead cabin. But you know that the direction of X and Y is, uh, need not uh, be changed. So you need to change only the origin. So just go to UCS command uh, and you can just move the UCS origin to this endpoint and uh, you don't need to uh, change the X or Y. So you just give enter to accept the existing positions of the X and Y. Now you can just uh, divide this into equal parts. So you know that you need the same number of divisions on top as well. Uh, so you have to make uh, the overhead cabin layer active and I'll uh, select, I'll give a polyline over here and uh, I'll divide that also into five equal parts. So I'll select this and number of segments is five. Since the point display mode is already changed, it will appear in the new changed mode and uh, I'll go to polyline and I'll go to shift right click and I'll go to node and I'll select this point and I'll go to perpendicular. So I've made a division for the partition for the overhead cabin. Now I should um, uh, trace the profile for the overhead cabin. I would like to go for a slightly uh, different profile for the overhead cabin and I also want the overhead cabins uh, to be glazed. So I have to draw profile here. So let me just uh, offset this main profile first. So I'll give offset command and I'll give an offset distance which is uh, which can be e either given as a numeric value or else you can just pick points two points over here and you can give an offset here. Okay. Now I'll go to uh, plan view because you know uh, whenever you want to generate an elevation based on a phase in AutoCAD you can easily get that using the plan command because as per the definition of plan in AutoCAD Plan is the view you get when you sit on the top of the z-axis and look down towards the xy plane. So if I take a plan now, I'll be generating eleva elevation based on this phase. So I'll give plan and just give an enter to get an elevation based on the current phase. Now you can see the actual dimensions of the profile. Now I'll give a polyline and I'll start from here, from this nearest point, okay? And I'll uh, give a slight curvature on top. So I'll go to arc option of polyline and I'll take second point over here and that is second point and I'll pick the end point over here okay now I would like to mirror this same profile onto the other side so that is mirrored okay and now these two these portions are not required so you can just uh, go to trim command and select these two cutting edges just give an enter and you can trim off this and this and you can also get rid of these portions and this can be erased, the small segment can be erased. Now this has to be converted as a single profile, so you know that the procedure. Just go to P-Edit and select the object and go to Join option and you give all to select all the objects. And now it is a single profile, but you know that there is a small bend over here uh, that has to be corrected. It has to be smooth, it has to be a single smooth continuous curve. So just click on this profile to get the grip points. You know what is grip editing. So these are all grips. So just uh, click on a particular grip to make it a hard grip. Uh, and based on that hard grip, you, you'll be able to, uh, you know, perform uh, the five frequently used editing commands in AutoCAD. Here, the first command has already appeared here, that is stretch over here. I would like to slightly stretch this uh, grip point to, the, uh, to a different position so that it will become a more smooth curve. Okay, so that is done. So we have made a single profile uh, for the overhead cabin. And you can give a slight extrusion for this. But it's better that you do it in the isometric. So I'll, I'll just go to zoom previous. You can give as many zoom previous as you want till you get back to the isometric view. So I'm giving uh, several zoom previous. Uh, in fact, this could have been elim eliminated if you had saved that view earlier. Since I haven't saved it, I, have, uh, I had to give several zoom previouses. Anyway, I have reached back to that previous isometric view. Now go to extrude command and I'll select the profile to be extruded and I'll give a height of extrusion as minus 2.5, okay? And now you can just uh, give subtract command, and uh, but subtraction can be given later because uh, I would like to uh, create several such uh, solids over here. So it has to be subtracted at a stretch later. Uh, so uh, let me just copy this multiple times. Five times I should copy. So I'll go to copy command and multiple copy. Okay. And now I can perform subtraction. 
So I'll go to subtract command and I'll select this profile, the main solid object. Just give an enter by right clicking the mouse and uh, this is the objects, these are the objects to be subtracted. So you can select all these objects in one go so that you have performed that subtraction operation. Just shade it to experience the surface model. So you have made it. Now you have to create a glass which is inside. You better uh, create a glass by creating a new layer. So I'll go to layer command and I'll create a layer for the glass. I'll call it as a glass and I'll uh, give it a different color. I'll let it be uh, a bluish shade uh, which is selected from here. Okay. Now you can make that as a current layer. And now you just close this dialog box and just simply trace this profile for the glass. Uh, so uh, if you want to trace the profile, you have two options. You can either, you can either uh, you know, uh, click up, draw a polyline by clicking these points. You can start from here as linear segments. Later on, you can switch over to curvular segments and you can do it. But the easiest method is to go back to the plan to generate an elevation. And you can give a command called B poly. B poly in AutoCAD will automatically trace the boundary from a picked point. So I'll just go to pick point option and I'll pick a point over here and from the pick point it has emitted a rays in all directions and it has identified this profile and you can see that the profile is automatically traced and this profile is going to be used to create the uh, glass but since the uses is kept on this plane the glass is also created over here so you have to move this glass backwards so I'll give move command and I'll select this as the base point and this as a second point and you can give a small surface so by giving a slight extrusion for the plane of the glass so I'll go to uh, extrude and I'll select the height of extrusion as a point 2 that's good enough okay so you have made the plane uh, uh, surface for the glass in fact it is slightly extruded now you can also s uh, create members to support the glass if you want so uh, let me le let me keep this members in a different layer. Now let me go to plan uh, but the layer need, uh, can be the same because it is also going to be in the overhead cabin so I'll keep overhead cabin as active. Uh, now I'll draw a polyline um, starting from th this mid uh, to this midpoint or else you can also select a perpendicular or a mid because both uh, or you can also select an end point because that we have a you know that you also have an end point over here so that is selected uh, now you can offset this uh, through a small distance uh, which is 1.25 to both sides 1.25 1.25 to both sides if you feel that as uh, slightly more you can bring it down to say uh, 0.75 that's good enough so I'll give 0.75 to both sides And you can just uh, get rid of the central member by erasing it. And you can connect these two endpoints over here. Then uh, you have to make that as a single profile by going to PA to join all. Now same operation I would like to perform over here. I will, I'll draw another polyline from here. Uh, that has to be actually the mid of this. So I'll draw a polyline. Mm, using point filters you can do that. So I'll go to point filters, dot x off, this endpoint, dot y off, this mid, so that you'll be able to get exact mid. And is it a zero? Now I'll draw a perpendicular to this. Now I'll offset it the same 0.75 to both sides. Erase the center member. Now we can just connect these two endpoints. Now go to p edit join all and close it. Now let me just go back to isometric by giving zoom previouses to see the actual planes of this. Or else you can... Okay, I've got it. Now what I'll do is I'll p edit this and join this. Uh, this is already a single profile. Now I can extrude this. So this and this can be extruded that is height of extrusion is minus 2.5 or uh, yeah minus 2.5 now both these objects can be uh, you can just give a union command to uh, combine these two solids you can even select this but uh, you don't need to union it now because you can just go for multiple copies and later on you can union it so that that will be ideal because you need multiple copies so I have selected this 
and I'll go for multiple copy. Now union this. All this can be a single object. Okay, you should also copy this uh, glass. onto the other cabinets. You can shade it. So this is how you make the overhead cabin. Now we are actually planning to make an open box over here uh, as well as the crown and after you complete uh, the overhead cabin in all respects you will be going for a mirror so that you will get the replica of this onto the other side which we will see in the next video.